In recent years, the United States has taken a dramatic step by removing four massive dams on the Klamath River, a river that spans 263 miles from southern Oregon into northern California. The dams were once built to supply power to thousands of homes, but now, nearly a century later, they face removal in an effort to restore the river's natural flow and improve the environment. While it may seem counterintuitive to remove functioning dams, the decision is based on a growing understanding of the river's ecology, the health of fish populations, and the long-term costs of maintaining these aging structures. The Klamath River was once one of the top producers of salmon in the Pacific Northwest, supplying a vital food source for indigenous tribes. However, the construction of dams like the Iron Gate, Copco 1 and 2, and J.C. Boyle led to the destruction of these migratory pathways, severely affecting salmon and other fish species. These dams disrupted the natural flow of water, warmed the river, and led to a dramatic decline in fish populations. As a result, for over a century, local tribes, particularly the Yurok and Karuk tribes, have been fighting to restore their livelihoods and cultural practices based on fishing. The decision to remove these dams is rooted in the belief that the long-term benefits of restoring the river outweigh the short-term costs of losing hydroelectric power. The dams, which together generate 169 megawatts, supply just a small fraction of the energy that the country consumes. In contrast, the Hoover Dam, which generates around 2,000 megawatts, produces far more energy and continues to operate effectively. As the Klamath dams have aged, their maintenance costs have risen, and their efficiency has diminished. The funds that were being used to maintain the dams are now being redirected into more sustainable energy sources, like wind and solar power, which have less environmental impact and are more in line with modern renewable energy strategies. Although these dams once provided power to tens of thousands of homes, their impact on the environment, and particularly on the salmon populations, was devastating. The removal of the dams will allow for the free-flowing river that salmon need to reach their spawning grounds, a crucial aspect of their life cycle. For over a century the river was blocked, preventing fish from migrating and contributing to a drastic reduction in numbers. With the dams gone, it's expected that the river's ecosystem will begin to recover, and fish populations, particularly Chinook salmon, could see a major rebound by 2061. The effort to restore the river is being celebrated by local tribes and environmental groups who have long advocated for this action. While removing the dams is a huge win for the environment, it's also a complex and expensive process. The Klamath River had become a repository for years of accumulated sediment, and before any work could begin, that sediment had to be carefully managed. In fact, it took years of planning, including relocating thousands of fish to safe areas during the draining of reservoirs, before the actual demolition could start. Engineers had to use controlled blasting, excavators and cranes to dismantle the massive concrete structures that had once served to harness the river's power. This intricate process, while disruptive, is designed to ensure minimal environmental damage during the removal. Environmental and Economic Costs a delicate balance. The process of removing the Klamath River dams hasn't come without its controversies. For one, nearly 2,000 acres of land need to be restored, with native plant species being planted to ensure that the local ecosystem thrives once the river is free-flowing again. Additionally, the local communities that depended on the dams for jobs, tax revenue, and recreational activities have faced economic losses. Property values around the reservoirs have dropped, and some residents remain opposed to the project, fearing the loss of local income. On the other hand, supporters of the removal argue that the long-term benefits of ecosystem restoration and the development of renewable energy sources will far outweigh the short-term economic hit. A growing trend dismantling dams worldwide. The Klamath River Dam removal is part of a broader trend of decommissioning aging dams worldwide. In 2023 alone, over 500 dams were removed across 15 European countries in an effort to restore natural river flows and protect freshwater species. This global movement reflects a growing recognition that some older hydroelectric projects, which were once considered essential for energy production, 
are now more detrimental than beneficial to the environment. As governments and industries continue to explore cleaner and more sustainable energy sources, the shift toward removing obsolete infrastructure is expected to accelerate. The removal of the Klamath River dams serves as a critical reminder that not all hydroelectric projects are sustainable in the long term. While hydropower has historically been seen as a clean and renewable energy source, this project highlights the importance of evaluating the environmental trade-offs that come with such infrastructure. As we move toward a more sustainable energy future, there's a growing emphasis on transitioning to energy sources that not only meet our power needs but also preserve biodiversity and ecological health. By removing aging dams that have outlived their usefulness and shifting towards solar, wind, and geothermal power, the U.S. is setting an example for how to balance energy production with environmental responsibility. The Klamath River project will likely be a model for future dam removals, providing valuable insights into how large-scale infrastructure can be reimagined to benefit both people and the planet. For the indigenous tribes living along the Klamath River, the removal of these dams goes beyond environmental restoration. It's a moment of cultural healing. For generations, the Yurok, Karuk, and Hoopa Valley tribes have relied on the river's abundant fish, particularly salmon, as a cornerstone of their culture and sustenance. The decline in salmon populations due to the dams had not only a devastating economic impact but also a profound cultural toll, as fishing is deeply woven into their spiritual practices and traditions. The removal of these dams is seen as a long-awaited victory, as it offers the chance to restore the river's health, revitalize the fishing practices that are central to these tribes, and reclaim a vital part of their identity. For many, this project represents the culmination of decades of advocacy and is a testament to the power of community activism in achieving environmental and cultural justice. In the end, the removal of the Klamath River dams is about more than just restoring a river. It's about forging a path toward a more sustainable future. The U.S. government and private companies are investing in renewable energy technologies like solar, wind, and geothermal power to compensate for the energy lost by dismantling the dams. Though the transition will be difficult for some communities, the hope is that, over time, the environmental benefits of restoring the river and supporting clean energy alternatives will create a better balance between human needs and the planet's health. As we move forward, it's clear that the removal of these four dams is not just a win for the Klamath River, but a key part of the broader push for a more sustainable and ecologically balanced future. If you found the story of the Klamath River dam removals as fascinating as I did, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I bring you the latest updates on groundbreaking projects and innovations happening around the world. Join me as we continue exploring the future of sustainable solutions and the impact they have on our planet. Don't miss out, subscribe now and stay informed.